it shows pretty much nothing and nothing. This battery is D-E-D -E -D dead. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back in Jitcha Canic. I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend here in America. We're celebrating our independence. Everybody else, you might be at work today, but we have the day off. And the reason I am out in the backyard sweating like a pig is because at the end of this video, I'm jumping in this pool. So although to celebrate, we're going to be blowing up a bunch of stuff tonight, I'm going to tell you what not to blow up on your riding mower. I didn't think I really had to make this video, but actually I do. I see it quite a few times through the summer. We get in over 2,000 pieces of equipment every year and a few hundred of those are riding mowers. And it's very common that customers do this and they don't even realize they're destroying their mower. We had a customer bring in their Encore zero turn mower this last week and they decided that their battery was dead. They were going to jump start it. Unfortunately, they didn't have a jump starter to do it with, so they used their vehicle. Now, the only problem with this is if you don't know that it's not like another jumping another vehicle. You can't have your vehicle running whenever you jump one of these mowers because you will fry everything on your riding lawn mower. Now, you can jump your riding lawn mower from a car vehicle battery. If it is fully charged, you hook your cables up and it will work, but do not have your vehicle running. What can it do? It can destroy your alternator, your module, your wiring harness, your solenoid, your starter. Everything can be destroyed. You can go from just needing a battery to needing hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of parts and lots of labor to repair it all. Now many times it just blows a fuse and that's how you get out lucky. We see that a lot when people are putting on their own battery and they might put the cables on backwards or something like that. We do see a lot of blown fuses when people just try to change their battery and they don't know what's wrong because they don't even know that there's a fuse on their mower. So if you go to change your battery knowing that it's dead and it doesn't do anything after you change your battery, always check your fuse. Now why am I making this video today? Because I have something super awesome to tell you about. You know, if you've been watching my videos, I do not promote anything at all. I do not try to sell you things through my videos ever because I don't believe that's why you came to my channel. You do always inquire about the tools I, I use in my videos, so I make sure to leave links to those below my videos so you can find all of them, the tachometer, my spark tester, the tools that I use, but I don't actually ever try to sell you anything. There has been one time that I've actually promoted something that I wanted myself and I received from the company and promoted it because it was so awesome. And now I'm giving you my seven month review. So let me take you back to when it was 30 degrees here in Arkansas. I had one heck of a dead truck and show you how awesome the Gulu GT 3000 was. So this is my 1999 Ford F250 7.3 liter power stroke engine and it is dead. D-E-D. -E -D. Let me show you. It ain't gonna start. So let's try out the Gulu and see what it does. All right, so we have the Gulu out. It's super light, compatible, easy, and it's the most powerful booster there is. So I'm gonna put my clamps on here. And it's going to turn on automatically. Now I need lots of power to start this bad boy. So I'm going to hit the boost button, clicks, and I'm going to start it. Now, since we made that video, we have gone through the busiest season at the shop. And I have to tell you, this thing has been a lifesaver. We don't just use it at the shop multiple times a day. We bring it home with us every day because Ron's working on vehicles here and he uses it like crazy. But probably about one third of the riders that come into the shop have a dead battery. So everything that we have to go move 
a lot of times we like to try to start it instead of just pulling it around with a four-wheeler we always break out the gulu gt3000 but check out what they came out for fourth of july Starting yesterday until the 6th of July, they came out with the Gulu GT4000S Freedom Model. Why did I want this? Because it's American flag and you know, I'm super patriotic. So I got this one in the mail because we didn't want to have to keep taking ours from the shop to here. I wanted one at home, one here, one always, you know, somewhere close. This bad boy is awesome. Not only that, but it's half off right now. You can get your own GT4000S for $139. The most powerful, compact jump starter on the market. Let me show you what it comes with. All right, so we've got our GT in this fancy box here. Pull this out. User manual, not gonna read that. Comes with a carrying case comes with lots of different adapters so you can charge it either way or charge anything when it comes to USB-C, regular HDMI to USB-C. It's got your cables here, very short, compact, easy to use. Also a, or well, your air compressor, it's got a port for that, that's pretty awesome. This thing is just amazing. So it comes already charged to 82%. Let's see what it could do. Now, would you guess that I probably have a few riders sitting in my backyard that I never use that are completely dead? Yeah, I would. So what I have here is an old Junker LT155 John Deere mower. The reason that I am keeping it is because of the engine. Um, I have the same exact engine on my Kubota, so I keep this one around for parts because it's a good engine, but this mower has a bad transmission. So somebody dumped it on us and I just save it because this engine's pretty awesome. So let me show you how dead this battery is. All right, so I broke out my battery load tester and we're going to see if this thing has any juice to it whatsoever. It shows pretty much nothing and nothing. This battery is D-E-D -E -D dead. Now, I really don't have hopes that this mower is going to actually start. It's been sitting for a year. I know I'm gonna have to go through the carburetor before it starts, but we're going to be able to tell how the battery does or how much juice the engine's getting. All right, let's see what this thing does. We're gonna put our positive on first. Now the Gulu doesn't send any power at all until you actually get it going or it connects. So it doesn't really matter which way you hook this up. If you're hooking it up on anything else, if you're jumping it from another battery, you always hook up the red first. All right, we've got it going. We're going to turn it on. Comes with 82% charge. Hit the boost. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the boost. Once you hear it click, you can try to start it. Well, it definitely gave it a boost. Now you only have three times you can try it till it has to like recharge again. So let's try it one more time. Well, I think that's all she's got. This engine has been sitting for too long, but this definitely has the power to get it going. So that thing has a super powerful punch, even with dead cell batteries, it will send charge through it and start your mowers. We use it all the time, every single day, multiple times a day. You can charge it up and forget about it for 24 months. It'll hold a charge. Throw it in your vehicle and you will never be stranded again with a dead battery. I do not promote anything else, as you know, through all my videos, but I am promoting this because they did say they are having a three-day sale for the GT4000S Freedom. Get yours today. I will leave a link in the description box below where you can get that for half off at $139.99 right now. That's a super awesome deal and it's just a peace of mind that you might want to have. So thanks again for tuning in to Chicanic. Hopefully everybody has a wonderful Independence Weekend. I'm jumping in this pool. Happy 4th of July, everybody.